I just want to share all of the supplements that I take and sometimes I'll add to this list or I'll get rid of things but for the most part if, if I'm taking it then it's got some seriously good benefits and I'm taking it for a reason so start with the first one we'll go through this quick a cayenne I take this mostly to help with circulation digestion and to you actually feel the heat when you take this and it, it gets you going in the morning so it gives you a little kick pomegranate this one I started taking because I was researching foods that are supposed to help raise testosterone and apparently there are some studies that show that pomegranate can help raise testosterone at least in the studies that showed that it, it raises testosterone in saliva levels does that mean that we're actually getting increased testosterone levels from this? I don't know, but if not, then there, it, there are plenty of other benefits that come with taking pomegranate. Lion's mane. So this is for brain and nerve support. You know, what good is a healthy, strong body without a strong mind? Lion's mane mushroom is supposed to be really good for brain and nerve support. Brain and nerve support. <laughs> I guess it's not helping me me with my my speech. I get kind of nervous when I speak to the camera. Ashwagandha. I also started taking this because it um, apparently can help raise your testosterone levels. Of course, we know higher testosterone, more gains. So ashwagandha. That's why I started taking this, and for energy, and it helps with stress and anxiety. This I take for joints. Skin hydration, joint connective tissue support. All this repetitive movement from exercise, you gotta, you gotta take care of your joints. So, ah, now I got a few extracts. Liquid extracts, I really like these because I can just get a little bit of water just mix them all in the water, shake it up, boom, and that's it. It's a lot easier than taking pills. So here I have oregano. This um, primarily for gut health. Oregano is great for gut health. Bromelain, it's all dirty. These things get dirty. Bromelain I started taking originally to help um, breathe better. So bromelain is an enzyme found in pineapples and it's supposed to help break up and expel mucus. It's good for people with asthma and allergies. So speaking of allergies, that's why I started taking nettle, nettle leaf extract. About once a year I get really, really, really bad allergies from I think the cedar and I would have a lot of mucus built up back here and it would drip and I'll just cough uncontrollably all day long, all night long. So I started taking this consistently. I've been taking this for about two years now and I haven't had, I haven't had a really bad episode like that since. I'm serious, it almost got rid of my bad allergies entirely. I still have allergies of course, but I don't get it as bad as I was and I'm pretty sure I had the nettle leaf extract to thank for that. So allergies and the last one the newest one go to cola so I started taking this one to help with anxiety I was looking for uh, natural supplements or herbs plants that can help with anxiety and came across this one this one's supposed to be really good so I just started taking this and of course these all have a ton of other benefits I'm just I'm just giving you the little quick reason why I originally started taking them, but they all have a ton of other health benefits, including helping to control blood pressure, blood sugar levels, anti-cancer, fighting properties, and all sorts of awesome benefits in all of these. So you can do the research and check them out and decide if you wanna take some of these. And if you have any supplements that you take that you think are awesome then 
that you suggest that I should take too, then, then let me know. Leave um, let me know. Leave them in the comment, and I'll check them out. Ooh, there is one more supplement I take. How how can I forget? One sec. I've returned to that quick lip. She legit. Oh, I forgot about this one. This one deserves an entire video on its own. So the one I get comes in a little jar and it's kind of like a resin, a resiny type material. It's like it's like black tar. See this? Oh, I'm gonna have to do this now. Sometimes I'll just put it all straight on the bottom of my tongue. It tastes kind of like dirt. But for the most part, what I'll do is blend it with tea or coffee. When I make it my tea or coffee, I just put it in there, it'll melt. Can't even really taste it. And what she legit is, I started taking it primarily for energy. Energy and it has a ton, a ton, like 80, like 80 or more trace minerals. And it's really interesting. It's it's formed from decayed plants and all kinds of other decayed life over years and years and years. And they harvest it from mountains. And yeah, and it, it looks like this little black tar that they get in the mountains. And it's full of trace minerals and it is supposed to help give you energy. And it's supposed to be really good for athletic performance and building muscle and fitness. I haven't been taking it for that long. I just discovered it recently through a calisthenics athlete named Adam Raw. And he is old school and he is, he is elite. And he, he was talking about how awesome this is and how much it's been helping him with his strength gains and his muscle gains. So you know what? I decided I'll try it. So she legit, why not? And that's it. Those are the supplements I take for right now. Every once in a while, I'll take zinc or magnesium, the, you know, the basics like that. But these are the cool kind of different supplements that I take. That's it. Check them out. Keep living yourself.